I love scary movies and I would die. I told like someone from the Walking Dead team, I was like, please let me just be a dead zombie. <laughs> I was like, I was making there. Trainer in the back. Yeah, just yeah. In the I zombie. want no one to know. I'll be in the river. Just <laughs> I'll do so good. Hey friends, it's your girl Emily Girl back here at our iHeartRadio headquarters, and we have Megan Trainer in the building. Let's give it up for Megan. <laughs> Smile alive. Oh my god, thank you. Look right back at you. Thanks. I you got know, veneers. Smiling, I'm smiling so big because you're here. And I'm so Thanks. excited. And thank you have you. new music out. I do. Been like this with T-Pain. Yep. We've had it on repeat, on thank loop. You. And this is a huge collab for you. This is a big yeah, moment. This is a big moment in my career because that's my hero. You've loved T-Pain. T-Pain is forever. my king. Yeah. When did the love the love first start? When I was in middle school. Yeah. <laughs> like uh at my school dances. It was all T-Pain, you know? And then High school, like he got me through some tough times, and he was always there for me. He was there. Uh, he was there for me at my like big milestones in life. Like, yeah, he he was always there. It was great, and I just knew, I named myself like M Train because I was like I want to be T Pain. Like I I I think he's the coolest guy ever. And then I was so scared to meet him in person because I was like, what if he's lame? You know, what if he's like mean? Yeah. And but he was he's the nicest. When was the he's first everything time you met I could him? dream of? I was texting him for a while and then he ghosted me after I sent him best uh been like this I was like please sing on this and he was like love it and then never responded and then I had my 30th birthday on December 22nd and he I told my team and my family I was like if you don't surprise me with T-Pain I'm gonna be <laughs> sad I was like I'm gonna I've, be upset I've been loudly um expressing how much I want to meet this man like figure it out we can do this we have the power to find him um, and the whole day went by and I was like, oh my God, they didn't get T-Pain. I'm going to cry. And then at the very end of the night, he was in my studio, like hiding, waiting for me. And I went down there and they surprised me. And then he played his verse and was like, I'm sorry I ghosted you. I didn't know how to not ruin the surprise. So I just ghosted you. And I was like, it's okay. It was the best day of my life. And is that the video we saw on TikTok? Like yeah. that's the exact moment? Yeah, yeah. So were you waiting for the right time, knowing that you love T-Pain, like your whole life? Were you waiting for the right song that felt like, like to, to ask I him I sent him one song years ago, <laughs> like a Christmas song. It didn't happen. And then he sent me one song that I was like, nah, I don't know. We could do better, you know, like. So, and then I sent him this one, and I I just thought it was so perfect for his career right now because he's blowing up all over again because everyone's realizing how talented he is. He's so like, did you know he could sing this well? I was like, yes, I've known. <laughs> he's been like this, and we're and my thing with made yeah. you look and TikTok like blowing up all my old songs blowing up again. I was like, I've been doing this. I've been here. I'm on my 10 year anniversary with all about that bass. How do you feel all about the bass? 10 years old, old. like that's. <laughs> Old and successful. Uh, blessed that I'm still here. Blessed that I'm still doing it. I feel very lucky and like I'm doing something right, you know, that I've been called back. I was with Elvis Duran again today. I was like, what? We're still here. Yeah. When was the first moment? Obviously, All About That Bass blew up. When was the first moment that you knew that you had like made it? This is going to be a career for you. Was it an artist reaching out to collab? Was yeah. it your first like morning show booking? Your first like big show? Like what was, was the so moment afraid. that stuck out to I you? I didn't know anything. I didn't know like TV, like the Today Show and like I knew it but I didn't know I'd be on it for music I was like really I, okay and um and now it's like my second home it's crazy um but I knew when Justin Bieber like remixed all about that bass and like teased that I was like uh oh we're going viral <laughs> this is, like this, this is, is it this is happening and then when my video jumped with views when I started getting like a million views and then 20 million. I was like, uh oh, like that's a this lot. It was big. Were you prepared for it at the time? Like, had no. You, so that was like, because obviously you have this dream, you're making music and it happens. Yeah. What happens after that? Scotty was with me, my radio guy. He was with me 10 years ago and he said, <laughs> hold on for dear life <laughs> because <laughs> this, this song was a rocket and I had to try to follow it and chase it because everyone knew like that bass song. They didn't know me, Megan Trainer. Mm. So then I, for years I was like, it's me, I'm the bass girl. And I still get called the bass girl 10 years <laughs> Stop. later. Stop. Yeah, by old dudes. You know, <laughs> they don't when, know I, when I'm like in a furniture store, they're like, are you the bass girl? I'm like, yeah, that's <laughs> yep, me. Yep. That's me. But yeah, he. it was like, hold on for dear life. And it was, it was a rocket ship. And but I he, had to just 
Yeah. Follow. You know what I appreciate about you, though, is you've cultivated such a sound that we, like, know what Megan Trainor sounds like. And that's, like, not easy to do. It's not easy. And my I think it's my deviated septum. Um, I think it's my <laughs> nasaliness. I think it's my my old school mixed with modern because I want to I wanna have the old school, like, timeless feel. But I also want to be with T-Pain. You know what I mean? So I, I love that I can mash up both worlds. And this album, Timeless, there was a lot of, what if we mix these three songs and made it into one happiness? Ooh. And my my brother, um, he's very like on to the next, um, very over it, really fast. And I, I would test all these songs on him, and he was like, and loved it. And I was like, we got something. So your brother was was the meter to be like, yeah, my older brother, because okay. he also doesn't listen to like my pop music, you know. So if he liked it, I was like, oh, we're gonna reach everybody, you know. <laughs> what does he listen to? Like, what does he rap? <laughs> <laughs> Cool kid stuff. He listens to the cool kid music. So and he I lets like, you know, like, what's cool, what's Yeah, he's like, this is lame and embarrassing, where he's like, this is fire, bro. Oh, wow. He actually, my older bro, he's here. He wrote on Ben is Like he This. He wrote, no like, way. some of my favorite lines. He wrote, I'm a pop star, I'm a wifey, put an X by my name if you don't like me. And I was like, oh, eh, Ryan. Wow. Yeah. I'm obsessed. He's cool. So Timeless the Record. Tell me the name. Obviously, you kind of yep. hinted on that. Why Timeless? I always start my albums with a T for a trainer, for family, to give a wink at my fan because they're they're a part of everything I do, and they're the reason I'm here. And I have a big ballad called Timeless, because I um, have this big impending doom of this life not being here anymore, you know? Mm -hmm. I want to live forever. I want to be 125 kicking it. Um, <laughs> and I don't understand what happens, you know? I don't know yeah. where we go, and I, I wish we were timeless forever. And having kids, like, wakes you up, and you're like, oh, my, uh, you know? Like, what was life before my kids? And I don't ever picture a life without them now. And I have two daughters somewhere that I know I want. I want two girls. Oh. And I'm like, where are they? <laughs> I miss them. I want a four, so you know I love that. See, it's, I'm yeah. trying to have four. Yeah. Um, but I wrote this big song that's like, I wish, like, maybe we're timeless and maybe we can live on forever because I love you this much, you know? Oh. It's going to be a big wedding tune. <laughs> oh, oh, I love. Oh. Okay, like, I would do yeah. that. And it's also special because the album is releasing on a special day. Yep, June 14th, my hubby's birthday. <laughs> is that his birthday gift? <laughs> yes, you're welcome. And that's <laughs> it. That's all you're getting. And I always... <laughs> I always mess up his birthday when people ask me. I'm like, July. And he's like, it's, it's June. It's and now June. you know. And now I'll never forget. I love y'all's relationship. What Thank is you. it like to have him on this journey with you? And I think he's in. Is he still I'm in the spoiled. room? Where is he? Yeah, oh, he's. Oh, Hi, baby. baby. I I'm spoiled. I mean, I won the lottery, dude. I can't. <sighs> he's great. But I tell people like, yeah, you can train them. You know, like I try to take credit, but he's a gem of a human being and he just worships the ground that I step on and that is when you say I want to marry you and be with you forever yep yeah that's when you're like mm, I'm in it forever with you you should pick me I pick you yeah. lock it down and you guys have the two cutest kids I think I've of ever all seen yeah. in my life yeah I'm biased but I love them they are like full TikTok They're stars really I think cute. anytime you post Riley that video is going viral yeah we were People like uh -oh. <laughs> he's so cute what is this stage of life like with them because Riley is how old now he's three now okay so cute. I got an eight-month-old, Barry, Barry, and three-year-old, Riley. And he is just such a boy, dude. Just like, trucks and cars and man, you know? Loves it. Uh, loves a fire truck. Loves <laughs> ambulance. And he's the cutest thing in the whole wide world. And he goes, I'm missing you. And I'm like... Does I need to write just, that song. Yeah. Does that just melt you? He still talks with like a Disney princess, like high voice. And he's like, hi, missing you. And we're like, ah. Does he listen to the album? Like, does he like? Oh, yeah. That's why when I filmed that, it was just randomly after bath time, I was like, ooh wee. And he was like, she got that booty. And I was like, oh, yeah. <laughs> like booty? Booty. <laughs> Boom, boo, da, bis, da, wack. He's so cute. And so you're about to go on tour. Yeah. Are they coming with you? Oh, yeah. So this this is their first tour, Huge. I'm assuming. Yeah, we're going. It's happening. Um, I think Barry's going to learn how to walk on this tour. So cute. I'm trying to ask all my mommies out there who have been on tour. I'm like, what's the bus situation? Like, do I, like, drill a crib in there? Like, what do we do? <laughs> Help work? us. I don't know what to do, but I'm going to figure it out. Yeah. And I'm so excited. Did you ask any other, like, artist friends who have done this, too, brought their kids Gwen on Gwen Stefani. Tour? I was like, do I do this? And she was like, yeah, it's the best. Her Ooh. kid learned how to walk on tour. Did she give you an advice? What'd she say? Bring them. Bring them. Do <laughs> She's it. She's like, it's the best time. And they'll they'll start to love it and be like, can we go back on tour? <laughs> and I'll be like, I'm exhausted. <laughs> You're like, I can't, but you go. Nope. And yeah. the fact that he's in, like, his full, like, truck and bus phase. Oh, man. I told him, I was like, would you want to live on a bus? And he's like, 
can we go to a bus now? And I was like, not today, <laughs> but we will. Dream. Yeah, it's his dream. Going back on the stage for you, this is your first tour in seven years. Yeah, I haven't, because of COVID, I haven't <clears throat> seen my fans in a long time. I've done like some gigs here and there, but they're like for companies and they're like people in suits, you know, this and they might not know a song. And I go, your six-year-old daughter loves this one, so record it, you know? So I haven't been in front Be of my... Be the hero in your family yeah. group chat. Yep. I'm like, literally FaceTime them now that you'll win. But I haven't been in front of my fans in so long, and my brother has written so many songs with me that I try to tell him, when you see this crowd singing your lyrics that you thought of, put an X by my name if you don't like me. I was like, you are going to lose it because it's, it's the coolest feeling in the wow. whole wide world. And I haven't had it for so long wow. and I cannot wait. So many of your songs too are like upbeat, they're loud, they're fun. Oh, I'm in the gym four times a week. I was gonna ask you, what is your dream girl, routine? I'm pretending that I'm gonna be the Katy Perry tour where she jumps on the trampoline <laughs> because that looks exhausting. <laughs> um, I don't know how I'm gonna survive, but I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna show up at every show and I am just like training like an Olympian. That's what I tell wow. all my family members. I'm like, I have to go to the gym because I need to train for the Olympics. So here I go. <laughs> and you're playing, I mean, we're in New York. You're playing the garden, which is huge. How do you feel about that? <laughs> Nuts. It was. It's a bucket list. I, I always was like, my last dream that I've never achieved, that I really want to achieve, is arenas. That's all I want to say I've done is like, mm. I'm an arena artist because I never was. And people are like, what? You could do that. And I was like, I haven't. It is so surprising to me, though. Yeah. Right? Ten years. Ten so, years. like... Please buy tickets and please tell everyone you know and please show up, please. Because we gotta, we gotta do well, you know? And let's talk about the special guest that you're gonna bring. I have Natasha Benningfield. What? In What? Feel the rain on your skin. Feel it. It's Come on, on. Hits on hits. Paul Russell with the upbeat, good, I'm happy sorry, hits. Say cheese. Come I'm on, obsessed. say cheese. I don't know the rest, but I'm, I'm gonna, gonna learn it. it. <laughs> You'll know it. I'll know it. And then Chris Olson? Chris Olsen and my older brother, who's going to DJ, who doesn't know how, but he's going to learn. <laughs> he don't know what he's doing. Affair. It's going to be so good. Okay, so is uh, is Riley going to make an appearance on stage? Like, are we, he is could he at Soundcheck or something. Like, then he'll Believe be awake. <laughs> Wake right up. <laughs> yeah. Your friendship with Chris, too, is so special. He's like my everything. He's you here guys, right now. I love that he's here. You guys have been friends for how long now? Like, this is two years. Two years. Oh, feels like five. Tell me about the friendship. Uh, he has the same birthday as me, so we're soulmates, oh, and wow. we just clicked immediately. I had him come over to do a podcast uh, with me on my Working On It podcast I have with my husband and my brother, and I told him, bring some TikTok ideas, and I saw how he did it, and I was like, you're a machine. Like, he had a notes uh, notes pad of, like, eight ideas and was just, like, checking them off, and we did it, and I was like, oh, this is a job. Like, you... I have so much I've respect mastered for this. TikTok and he was like, yeah, so that's how we do it. Hard. TikTok is so challenging. Oh, yeah. If I don't post too, he's like, where are you, mama? <laughs> he's he's we, slacking. You and I'm we like, wow. <laughs> yeah. He gets on me. Um, I love your music. And again, I'm so excited for this new album. Thank you. You are the confidence queen. When do you feel like your hottest, your most confident? Liver. Um, <laughs> so I write these songs <laughs> because I feel opposite. You know what I mean? I write them to pump me up. I write them to get me going when I'm in the gym. You'll see a lot of self-love songs on this album, but I feel my most confident when I'm on stage and I'm like fully pretending. I'm like, you're a superstar, go. Do you have like an alter ego that you go into when I, you're on I stage? I flip a switch. You do? Uh-huh, I got does switch. Does she have a name? Somebody named her the other day. She was crazy. That was a good name. I gotta figure her out. Um, a psychic told my husband the other day, what Lola wants, Lola gets. So right now I'm Lola. Lola. <laughs> oh my Lola. God. And Lola wants an arena tour and she got and it. Lola wants, <laughs> yeah, Lola wants two daughters and an arena tour. <laughs> <laughs> Two daughters. I love that. Going back to like your writing skills, like have you always like written these anthems? Is that always what came yeah. naturally, or did you have to refine that again? Well, going back like, to what you're saying, I was trying to write stuff that I needed on the mm -hmm. radio. There was a lot of you know love songs on the radio, and I was like, that's nice, but like I need something to pump me up. Yeah. And um, when I did all about that bass and saw what it did for everyone, I was like, oh, we need more of this. Mm -hmm. You know, it's like. Th these three minute songs can change your life. I had a lot of fans, their parents would come first to the meet and greet and say, my daughter didn't go to school for months until your song came out. Cause she was like too afraid, too insecure. And it was sons and daughters and everyone. And and the, I was like, uh oh, I have a superpower and I must do good with my powers, you know? <laughs> Lola. I was like, yeah. Lola, we gotta do more. <laughs> wow, that just gave me chills. That's really so It was sweet. crazy. Like, to hear those fans I was like, what? That took me 45 minutes. I could do it again. Yeah. And here yeah. you are, 10 years later. It's doing it. You have this album coming out. You're hitting the tour. Like, your husband's here. Your kid's like, do you just feel like in such a happy spot? Uh, peaking. Yeah. You're peaking. I'm peaking. <laughs> yeah. Um, uh, everyone keeps asking me, what does my 10-year-old, like, 19-year-old uh, self think about me now? Because I was 19 when 
We played at All About That Bass, and she's stoked. Yeah. She's so proud of me. She's hugging me so hard she won't get off. You know, she's like, <laughs> <laughs> She's obsessed. I got um, the man of my dreams, and he's also a spy kid. Sick. Um, he's my childhood <laughs> hero. <laughs> and we have two little spies now. And That's the best. I'm about to do arenas. Like, this is the last bucket list I can think of. And I have to make new goals because wow. I'm just, yeah. Bleh, Are you, you still know? dreaming? What comes next? Acting, probably. We, I actually feel like you'd be so good at that. That's what people say. What would you want to so, do? Funniness. Ooh. But you know, I can also Funniness. See, I can see you do like an American Comedy. horror story. A story like. <gasps> <gasps> I love scary movies and I would die. I told like someone from the Walking Dead team, I was like, please let me just be a dead zombie. <laughs> I would. I was like, I was that stand Megan there. Trainer in the back? Yeah, just yeah. Defense, I want off. no one to know. I'll be in the river. Just. <laughs> I'll do so good. You're like, oh, that's my God, dream. <laughs> This is a dead zombie, please. I love that. That's my dream show. Okay, so album is out this summer, June 14th. Yup, timeless. And then when can fans buy tickets? When Tickets are out now. Let's tickets are on go. sale right now. Please, please tell your friends and family. I promise it'll be so much fun. And I'm going to try to make it earlier, you know, so we're not leaving at midnight. Can I say I appreciate that? Thank you. I love that. I Team's love mad it. at me. Oh, they're like, Team's mad. I Managers are like, concert. people can't get there on time. And I was like, well, that's their problem and not mine. No, yeah. Earlier shows for the kids. <laughs> I oh, want to start at five. I want to start at <laughs> six. I want to have a dinner special. Okay, six is a little. So we all go home at 8 p.m. Come on. It is Sign funny. the like... petition. You know, like, we should all. Go to bed like, at a reasonable not. time. Six is There's early. There's children there. <laughs> Think of the traffic. Okay, see, Dylan says, yeah, yeah. The traffic. But like set seven. We gotta go to school the next day, potentially. <laughs> it's September. <laughs> Come on. Okay, so let's look forward to lots of early shows. Yeah. <laughs> we can't wait. I want Megan. a matinee. Thank you so Thank much you. for being here. This is so fun. We're Thank so excited you. to be timeless. Me. I cannot wait. Can we make some noise for Megan Trainor one more time? Thanks so much for watching. Did you like that video? You can check out more over here and don't forget to subscribe to iHeart right here. And if you're already a longtime fan, make sure you ring the bell down below so you don't miss a single video. See you next time.